Hi guys! Why are you? Oh, you! Welcome to KTLM Unboxing and Reviews. So today, what? What do we have here? Steering wheel. So this a steering wheel for your racing simulator. So this connects to your computer or Xbox. We got an Xbox version. Okay, and this is from Thrustmaster. Okay, what does it say on the top, Moz? T two four eight. So this is Thrustmaster's T two four eight steering wheel. Okay, so Moz, this has a lot of stuff with it. It has their new hybrid system. It also has a display on it. Okay. And a pedal. Yeah, it also has some new upgraded pedals with it. This also has a magnetic type of. Wow. So this is the front of the box. This is the side. This is how the pedals look. This also has a spring, so you can adjust how hard you want the pedals. And to a, and a, and the brakes are really hard to do. Yeah. So you can make it softer if you want. Mm -hmm. Here's the back, and here's the other side. Okay. So look, you guys can see there's a display where it says T two four eight, and this is how the steering wheel looks itself. Yeah. Right. So now you want to open it? Yeah. Okay. So now let's it's do. Really good. Now let's open it. Now we have the pedals and everything out of the box. So this, in this should be the clamps and the screws to clamp it on the yep. table. This are the pedals. Now, you wanna get this out of the box, out of yep. the thing? Let me get the pedals out of the box. Like so. So. This is a connector that goes inside of uh -huh. the base underneath here. This is the bottom part. This is how the top part looks. Whoa, actually looks nice. And what is these? And this one is the spring for the brake. This is for the throttle. This is the clutch. Okay. So this goes inside here. And Moss, you want to open this now? Yeah. Okay. We got cable or something. So now we have everything out of the box. Now let's take it out. Right, Moss? Yeah. Okay, open this. Please. Mm, make sure. Yeah. There's tape on it. It is? Yeah. Okay. No, put that away. So this is all the clamps and everything. You might be seeing this black spring here. Here in here. This is for the brake pedal. So you can put this spring if you want it to be harder. Is this a charger? No, that is to put the disconnect this to the wall outlet. Okay? So over here, this is the wire for that. Now I'm gonna take this over here. So this should be the wire to connect to your computer. So it's USB C to USB. Now this. Is a clock. So we don't have a stand for this yet. So we're gonna be using this with a cable. Cable. Okay. Yeah. So now we have a clamp and the spring. I mean, the screw. Right. Now all this away. Now this is going to be for um, uh, tightening everything. And this is for spring for uh -huh. this. But we won't be using it because I'm still small. So uh, we won't be needing this, but we'll keep it here. So this is how everything looks. So if you look at the bottom, there, if you look at the bottom, there are a few cables that you can put in. So this will go inside of here, like so, into this metal part, right here, and the cable will go through here, inside of this, <coughs> which is quite nice. Like so. That's what that one do, okay? This is the power supply. And then, if you want to connect uh, to your computer with USB-C, use this dongle that you can plug into your computer and then use this. So now let's open this, right now. Yes. And then here's the USB-C to USB cables. This also go through in here, to the side, oh. go all the way to your computer as well. <coughs> this is the extra spring for that. And this is a clamp. So if you look underneath, like so, you're gonna put this clamp like so, 
And I then we're gonna put it in. Like I'm this. gonna do it right now. So we're gonna put it in like this and screw it. And then it can clamp onto your cable for this, however you like. Okay? So we'll be using that in a different video. So be on the lookout for part two. So now we have all the things right. It's now so soft. It's not very loud, but like mm -hmm. these pedals are also quite soft. So and then over here is the display, and this is for the modes and the Xbox buttons, and then all the buttons here. This, for example, if you're playing like F1 and you need to change your uh, ERS, you can use this to put up and down. So and some and over here, Moaz, what what do you think this is? Leather. Leather. So on the outside it's like some foam leather and the inside it's like plastic, right? Yeah. So holding it, I feel like it's okay. I don't think so there's like something anything annoying about it. It's just like good. Mm -hmm. Um so uh, the design, what do you think this looks good? Yeah. So do you like the pedals? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So now this is the brake pedal. So I think so. This is at the softest setting. And the instructions manual has uh a lot of tells you everything about the force feedback modes, how to adjust the spring and take it out, and it tells you everything how to do it. Okay, here's the force feedback and everything. So this has almost from three to four unimeters of force feedback, which is quite good. And then, yeah, Moz, do you like it? Yeah. I like it. So there's gonna be a part two where yeah. I'm gonna show you how this works. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the bell icon. Bye! Bye.